Okay guys, so before you go ahead and begin your work, make sure you disconnect everything. You have your subwoofer connection here, speaker, tweeter, tweeter, speaker, and also the brake light. Okay guys, and one more thing that I like to point out is you're gonna be dealing with this here, which is next to the airbag. <clears throat> Uh, it could be a sensitive area, so I disconnected the battery. Um, not too sure if you have to, but you know, just because you're working in the area, you don't want nothing to go wrong. So disconnect the battery um, before you begin your work. So you're gonna want to go ahead and remove this molding here. This will allow you to bring it to the side. You gotta remove this piece first, okay? And then, as you can see, the clip in here. Okay, that means you have to pull it forward towards you. So I'm in the back of the car. Go ahead, just grab it. You can grab it from here and from over here, both locations, and then just boom, pop it forward, okay? You don't have to remove it all the way. As you can see, this is enough clearance to be able to remove the top over here, this piece. So let's go ahead and do it on the other side. Okay, ready? So now let's lift it out. Lift this side as well. So how do I lift it over? Okay guys, so I'm going to remove this here. However, I don't want to break anything. So I'm working from the opposite side. Luckily over here, you can see everything that's exposed. I already did one. There's another one there. There's one there. There's one over here. I'm basically gonna go with a microfiber or a piece of rubber, whatever you have available. And then you just hit it up with a hammer. Go ahead. So we're gonna do this one right here. We're gonna tackle this one. Just gonna pop it up nice and neat. Just like that. That way when you go on the inside, you can just lift it up nice and easy. What you're going to want to do is actually take the back off first for the side airbag cover. Unclip it, pull it this way, all the way to the back. You loosen that, then work your way over here. You got to take the weather strip a little more up. You'll be able to pop it off here. But this little clip right here, you don't pull it to the other side of the car. You pull it to the front of the car, the plastic piece. Look at the way the clip sits. Okay, there you go. Okay, next you're gonna want to push, pull this forward to the front of the car as well. And I'll take this piece out. That way you can lift this up. Do you really have to remove the seat in your car? No. Does it make it a little easier? Yes. But essentially, what you're gonna do is just cover this with like a sweater without a zipper. And cover it, pull it forward, and then this you'll be able to pop up and bring to the front. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift this, you're gonna bring it to the front just a little bit, right? And then you're gonna pick it up and slide this under, okay? Once you do that, you can just pop everything up. Well, everything's already popped up, but essentially you can slide everything out. So when you're doing this, just be very careful because you don't want to break this. So, okay guys, so what we did, we're taking off the, the film from the top layer, okay? As you can see, we're doing it nice and smoothly. What we're gonna do is, everywhere that there's foam here, including this piece, we're gonna add some, but we're gonna put it put primarily over here. Put them right here, a little bit here, put it all the way around the subwoofer. But I'm also taking that foam and I'm putting it here as well. All the way around. Okay, so there we go. Now there's two on each side of the subwoofer. And what I noticed is when I put in the padding, that of course I knew it increases the height, but that this just isn't enough. And it easily pops out when the subwoofer's on. So I'm trying to make like a strong bond. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna pop this off. 
All right. And as you can see here, you can't put a bolt in there because there's not enough clearance. But the good thing is, because of this little piece in there, the little plastic piece, you're able to put one of these. And it'll hold in place while you tighten the nut and you put everything in together. So let's do that now. Okay. And as you can see, the little ridge, you put it in and you slide it. I guess it's in the middle. Okay, and this is what I was referring to. It's nice and still, nice and snug. Let me get that a focus. All right, that way when you turn it, you see how it doesn't turn? Because here, this has as, the, as a flathead, so it holds it in place. Okay, if you have a little bit of issue sliding it in, just get a little flathead and just push it in and it'll clip into place. Okay, so you have your normal clips. And then you have on the subwoofer on each side and you move bolts. Okay, what you're gonna wanna do is get some tape as well. That way when you go ahead to put it inside, you don't go ahead and scratch up your interior paint like this here, you know? You don't wanna scratch this, so. Let's just put some tape on that and then boom, be good to go. Ready to install and don't have to worry about scraping it. Okay guys, now that we're ready to install, just be careful for this little piece right here. It's the sensor when you're putting it back on. Um, as I was taking it off and putting it on, I know that it actually got in the way. Um, and if you're not paying attention, you can break it. So it's on both sides. Just be cautious when installing. Okay, once it's in, make sure everything is aligned before you start hitting things down. And then, you're gonna go over here. And make sure all the rest of them are aligned. Put this one over here. Let's get there. And then you will see over here that the bolt will come right through. And there you go. Now that it's there, uh, what you're gonna do is pull off the tape on both sides. You're gonna have somebody from the inside put pressure. In the meantime, you could take off the tape and expose it. You're gonna have somebody push down on the inside, and then you're gonna go ahead, put your washer, and then put your wing nut. Okay, go ahead, push down. Okay guys, so then you're going to go ahead and get some foam, you're going to cut it in small pieces like so, maybe an inch wide, and you're going to stuff it right in there, now we can push up against the glass and create less rattle. 